Hi guys, this is Light Snow. Last time we created this adventure game, and this time we're gonna make exactly the same game in Kotlin. And uh, I believe you've already watched the GUI design part of the video. So if you haven't watched it, I would recommend you to watch the GUI part first. Yeah. Anyway, let's start. This time I'm gonna name this project as a Case. Adventure and select language as Kotlin. So finish. Okay. So now we can start writing code. So first, let's click this title screen. Ja uh, ja not Java, Kotlin class. So we have created these two activity, so title screen and uh, game screen. And uh, so when we created these activities, it automatically generated this Kotlin class and also this XML file. So these are connected to each other. And this code is automatically generated when you created this activity. So you don't have to change anything. This is just a basic format. And so for this title screen, first thing we want to do is interact with this start button if you use a click this start button then uh, it moves to this game screen okay so we have set id id name for this start button so this one start button so we're gonna use this yeah type just start button and uh, alt enter to import and then dot set on click listener this time not round bracket but uh, uh, curly bracket so this way you can set uh, on click listener means uh, what's gonna happen if you click this start button and uh, this time so we want to move to the game screen so we're gonna use a stuff called uh, intent stuff or class and uh, to instantiate this intent you type like this val and intent equal intent and this uh, see intent no intent yeah and alt enter I think yeah and this game screen to column then class dot java and then start activity intent so this is one way of typing the code to move to the other activity in Kotlin and uh, as you can see so in Kotlin you don't need to type uh, semicolon like this. You can type, but uh, you don't need to. Also, other difference with Java is this time you don't have to type like a find view by ID and stuff like that. So you you can type that, but uh, you know you don't need to for this purpose. You can just type start button and uh, so for example, you can just type this ID ID name and uh, do whatever you want so let's check this yeah so hello like this okay oh and also I forgot to delete this action bar so just a moment let's open these styles and uh, change this no action bar Start again. 
okay and so let's check if this start button on click listener is working or not okay it's working so i think this title screen class is done and uh, so next move to this game screen class but actually right now there's nothing we can do in this class so we're gonna make another uh, Kotlin class so this time we are not gonna make an activity but we're gonna make a Kotlin class uh, class and uh, I'm gonna name this story story class so this story is just a class so unlike this game screen and the title screen it doesn't have where is it this layout it's just a code and first we're gonna make a constructor because we want to receive this game screen class so you know we can access these buttons and the text and the image from this story class and uh, in Kotlin uh, you don't need to type like uh, like this like a public story like this but you can just type round bracket here and uh, get some parameter from here and in this case we want to get this game screen class so type like this val gs and the column and game screen and also let's go to this game screen class uh, here uh, you type like this val story equal story and this so this is how you instantiate a class so in Kotlin whenever you instantiate something or like a variable or a class you basically use var or var so var means i think variable and var means i think value and uh, so you use this var to make something you know that can be changed like a string or integer or stuff like that and uh, you use this var to instantiate something that doesn't change like this class so for example if we want to make an integer then uh, you just type like this var and uh, number equal one or something and also if you want to make a string then you type like this var text equal this is text and uh, uh, condition something uh, no yeah so in Kotlin you don't need to type or specify like a int or int or a string or a, like a boolean but the, you know the program automatically detect what this is if you type number then uh, it recognizes oh okay this is integer and if you type text then uh, it automatically recognizes oh this is string or uh, boolean okay yeah so we just uh, pass this game screen class to this story class so let's make a method and uh, to make a method you don't type like a public void and something like this but you just type fun i think this is a function and a method name i'm gonna name this as a starting point and round bracket and the curly bracket and this method basically describes the first location where the game start so we're gonna display the opening narrative text and also display the opening image and the bottom text stuff like that okay first uh, let's access to this text so this means a uh, game text view in this game screen class so first type 
GS. This one we got game screen as GS, so GS dot game text view and uh, set text. No, hmm? alt enter dot set text. So you are on the load. There is a M sign nearby. Line break. What will you do? Hmm. Okay, so let's call this starting point method from here, I think. So, uh, first type story dot uh, starting point. Okay, let's check this. Uh, okay, let's click start button, then the, yeah, okay, you are on the road, there is a wooden sign nearby, what will you do? Okay, good. And now let's place some text on these buttons, this choice button 1, 2, 3, 4. So first, gs dot choice button 1, set text. First choice is go north and uh, second choice is go east. Set text. The third choice is uh, go west. the sign, read the sign. Mm. Okay, uh, let's check this. Okay, so go north, go east, go west, read the sign. Mm. 